It's been 10 years since the deadly attack on this school in Toulouse. But for those who were present, the memory is still fresh. This father of a former pupil remembers rushing to the scene after receiving a phone call from his daughter. My first reaction was to touch the bodies on the floor to see if they were still alive. In the schoolyard, I saw more bodies, two small ones. Then I went to find my daughter and her school friends at the top floor of this synagogue. I asked them to do a roll call. Long after the emergency services and police had left, psychological support was kept in place to help the children, teachers and their families recover. Former student Jonathan Shetri has found writing about the experience therapeutic. In the days that followed the attack, he jotted down his last memories of Miriam, the eight-year-old daughter of the head teacher, who was among the four victims. She was singing and skipping along. That's curious. It means I saw or heard her singing, if I wrote that. But I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Jonathan has turned his childhood memories into a book, adding more witness testimonies from his friends and teachers. The life that we had before, which was just the typical experience of all high school students, with silly arguments between friends now and then, all of that was swept away. It was swept away. It was a real shock. Just three days after the shooting, classes gradually began again. In an effort to help the pupils move on from the incident, the school organized extra trips and activities. But a scheduled visit to Auschwitz was cancelled, as it was felt to be too difficult for the students. Here we are, on a visit to the city of Carcassonne. Cross-country running happens every year, and this was a visit to Arcachon. We want to open up the perspectives of the pupils and help them discover the world. That was one of the main aims of our director. Barbed wire and video cameras now make the high school seem like a fortress. There's fear they'll be targeted again. In the playground, this statue was erected in memory of the four victims. Today, we are still living in fear. You have to realize that every morning in front of the children's school, there are military guards. It affects you. Our students, our children, are growing up with soldiers in front of their school. It's inconceivable when you take the time to think about it in a democratic country like France. Leon Leani couldn't sleep for several months after the tragedy. He's kept hold of all the newspapers he bought at the time. These are all of the newspapers from that time. I kept them not as a souvenir, but to pass on. This is the first time I've looked at them in 10 years. For his daughter Clara, the attack was a turning point. As soon as she'd finished her baccalaureate exams, she left France for Israel with five more of her classmates. It wasn't always planned that she would go to Israel after high school. But after the attack, it became clear that this was going to happen. Now it's sure that her life is over there. She's at home there. You can't predict anything in life, but she's completely integrated there. Like Clara and her friends, many former pupils have chosen to leave since the attack. The Representative Council of French Jewish Institutions estimates that in the last 10 years, around 30% of the Jewish population of Toulouse has chosen to immigrate to Israel.